Slanted ground. Okay, last few questions here. These are good. We're caught up at an hour and 20. He says, what do you think of Eastern Bike Co. and their higher end completes, the Reaper, the Shovelhead, the Wolf Dog, etc.? Um, I'll have to look again because what I remember is I was going to go through and review every single Eastern bike. And I reached out to their team manager. I said, hey, what's up, man? Um, I'm going to go through the bikes and do a bunch of reviews. I just wanted to know, is there anything like that you feel like I should know about them to convey when I'm making these reviews. Like, cause I don't want to say, oh my God, this bike is $400 and it sucks if there's something about it that I don't fully understand. And so um, <clears throat> anyway, I started to look at them and these lower end bikes, I was like, yikes. And so I quickly decided not to do any reviews. Um, but the higher end stuff I never really got to, to look at. And I don't think they had them out. Honestly, at that time, I don't think they had them out. So the shovel had $719. Actually, first, let me tell you guys, I had a Eastern Trail Digger. It was one of my first bikes. It was super light. I absolutely loved the bike. Very good bike. It was tri-molly and I ended up bending the dropouts and then ultimately crack the top tube. Uh, but it lasted a little less than a year, um, <laughs> which for me was, was okay. But anyway, um, I do like Eastern for the most part. Now these new lines, the reason I loved Eastern back then is that they were very affordable for the quality that you were getting. Now they're not so much, like their prices have gone up quite a bit. But anyway, um, the shovel head has full Kamali frame forks and bars, good three piece cranks, sealed hubs, okay, double wall rims for 719. Like it, <clears throat> that's a lot, um, but it is also good quality. And, and what I'm curious, the kink whip set the standard at full Kamali frame forks and bars, double wall rims, sealed bearings for 500 bucks. So that is the standard. And so if we pull up a $500, say trail digger, let's see what it is. I bet it's tri Molly. Oh, no, it's full Kamali frame. Okay. Okay. The forks though are partially Kamali. The bars, it doesn't say, so we can assume that those are high tensile steel. It does have double wall rims. So for $50 more than the kink whip, now normally 629 marked down to 550, 629, yikes. Um, it's slightly overpriced. Like that's that's just kind of the gist of it. I bet the Reaper is really solid though. This was all like the Grim Reaper frame was like my dream, my dream bike. Chromoly frame with helix down tube, chromoly forks, chromoly bars, double wall rims. So yeah, no. Oh, with with rear. Oh, never mind, never mind. Anyway, um, I'm gonna say this is again ignorant quick look at the bike slightly overpriced um, but overall you can get some good quality stuff so that's that's it that is it